Well, good morning folks welcome back to another video out here on a beautiful morning I am honestly a little bit tired this morning because I pulled an all-nighter I didn't fall asleep last night so running on no hours of sleep but I drank a five-hour energy so we should be good but we're here at this lake I'm at a campground right now just past those trees there is a lake we're gonna at least fish one lake today but maybe two or three it just kind of depends on the snow because there is still some snow a little bit higher so you know we're still kind of limited that way but before we get fishing i'm actually going to cook some breakfast and i also got a little announcement to make so some of you guys know my old truck the white chev the truck i've used on basically all my fishing adventures it hit 300,000 miles about a month or two ago and it's been having some problems and last week she finally died. I mean, it's not super surprising. It has 300,000 miles. They don't last forever, but I did get a new vehicle. Check it out. New, she well, it's not new. It's new to me. 2008 Chevy Silverado 1500. Beautiful freaking truck. I mean, look at that. Look at that. Four door, which is nice because I can fit all my friend, or not friends, fishing tackle with a shorter bed, which is fine. It'll still haul our four-wheeler. And these tires, I won't lie, these tires are not very good. They got about 50% tread on them and they were sliding on the way up here in the mud. So definitely gonna be getting my old tires for my old truck and throwing them on here because those still have a lot of life left in them. But other than that, man, this is a nice little truck. Hopefully we'll make just as many great memories in this thing as we did the old white one. Maybe we'll name it, I don't know. My last one was Sierra the Silverado. This one can be, I don't know, we'll have to come up with a name for it, but I don't wanna waste any more time. I'm gonna cook some breakfast on the tailgate and we're gonna get fishing, man. Start off with some bacon. We're gonna be making some donuts with this biscuit dough. 89 cent roll of biscuit dough. All right, nothing tastes better than 89 cents. All right, take some peanut oil. We'll just take our little biscuits and make little donuts out of them. Pretty self-explanatory. And then I brought some powdered sugar that we'll sprinkle over them. There we go. There we go. That's hot enough. Donuts going in. Okay, I'll let those cook. Those shouldn't take too long at all. Maybe like three minutes. And this bacon's cooking quite fast. Well, the ones in the middle are. Oh, look at that. Those donuts are already starting to get golden. Could probably flip them already. Let's. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at that. That was about a minute. And they're already ready to be turned. There we go. Oh, look at that. Perfect. Oh, look at that. By the time I'm done flipping them, they're already pretty much ready to come off. We got our powdered sugar in here. I was looking for like a salt shaker or something that I could put this in to just, you know, shake the powdered sugar over them, but couldn't find one, so we just got this. All right, they're done for sure. Right. Bacon is done. There we go. Bacon, donuts. It's pretty good. Mm. 89 cent biscuit dough. That's delicious. Bacon, super thin and crunchy. The cheapest bacon they had. Still like five bucks. It's good though. I'm gonna finish this up, get my rod rigged up, and then we're gonna head to the lake and try to get on that morning bite. There's rainbow trout in this lake, and there's also a few tiger trout that I've caught. Not too many though. We'll just have to see. Check it out beautiful lake honestly first impressions it's a little bit murky 
it's not super clear like it usually is. I mean, it's clear, but I mean, compared to how it usually is. So we got a stream coming in from over here, but it's super, super shallow right here shallow and muddy and then over there there's another stream and it's a little bit deeper so i'm gonna make my way over there and uh try that first oh my gosh a fish just jumped right there right there sounded like a nice one too it's probably not even gonna see my jig the water is super dirty it's actually dirtier than i thought i mean you got like two inches of visibility that is not good but there are fish feeding so that's a good sign we're gonna have to run it right by their nose all right so here's the stream that's coming in and the water that's flowing is not the cleanest but if i had to guess there's going to be some trout just stacked up right here waiting for food i definitely did underestimate how clear the water was going to be i didn't think it was going to be crystal clear because you know it's springtime there's a lot of runoff but i mean it's you got a few inches of visibility and that's being generous so All right, well, 20 minutes fishing this lake, not a bite. We did see some fish hit the surface, but the water's just so dang muddy. Fish just can't see my lure. So instead of wasting time here, I'm gonna keep moving, try to find some other spots. So, it is a new day. The last clips you just saw were me fishing that lake and clearly it didn't go so well. After that, I went to a different pond and same story there. The water was super muddy and there was just no fishing to be had. So I left, went and filmed a different video actually. And here we are, it's the next day and we are out here at this creek that I've never fished before actually, but it's looking good. I was actually here the other day and I did see some fish, so yeah, hopefully we can catch some of them. There's cutthroat trout, and I think this is just a cutthroat trout stream, but there might be some browns. I really don't know. So, so we're just gonna have a fun day out here, hopefully catch some fish. And I just want you guys to notice how beautiful and green it is out here. I mean, just look at this. You got the mountains in the background, green trees, green grass. It is an absolutely beautiful spring, thanks to all the water we've gotten. It's just beautiful out here. But let's get rigged up, catch some fish. Look at that guy. Oh. Where'd he go? He must blend in really good because I can't see him. Oh, there he is. He's way up there. Been here for like two or three minutes and we already see a lizard. So like I said, I don't have my fly rod, but I do have my flies. And I think I'm gonna start off with this little balanced leech under a float. We'll see if that gets them. And this looks like a really good spot right here to start. Let's try it out. First cast of the day. That's a fish. First drop of the day. First drop of the day. There we go. A little, is that a brown? That's a brown. What in the world? I did. I thought there was just cutthroat in here, but I guess not. Oh my gosh, look at that fish. That is the fattest little trout I think I've ever seen. Check that out. There's something going on here. I don't know if she's pregnant or what, but that is abnormally fat. That is crazy. On the balanced leech. There we go, folks. Tied by a friend, actually, so shout out to you, bro. 
goodness gracious, that is a beautiful fish. Heck yeah. Just hooked right there in the nose, pop it out. Gorgeous fish. First one of the day, we're gonna let her go. There we go. There's a fish. Another, what is this? This is a cut. This is a cut. Or nope, that's a brown. Uh, let's get down there and take a look. Check it out. Little brown trout. Cool, cool. That is a little guy. On the balance leech. Just right here in this little pool. I adjusted my indicator to go about a foot and a half down and he bit it. Oh, there he goes, see you later. That's a good looking spot right there. The problem is how do we get down? I'm just gonna have to bushwhack it. Oh yeah, this is a good looking spot though. All right, I'm just gonna have to let it float on down. Here we go, fish on. I knew it, I knew it. Another brownie. No! Ah, shoot. I don't think I got a good hook set on him. Got me all tangled up. I couldn't get a good hook set because there's trees and limbs all around. You just kind of have to reel into them. Ah, my line's hung up on the trees. This is a pain. Oh, there's a bite. Come on. Gosh dang it. All right. There we go. That fixes that. Got him. Got him. Look at that. Caught a little lizard. I've been seeing him everywhere walking up and down this trail. In fact, there's another one next to him right there. I'm thinking we throw this guy on a hook and drop her down. Ah, I'm just kidding. We'll let him go. That's cool though. Cool little lizard. Look at that. So I've been hiking for about, I don't even know, I don't have my phone. So it feels like two, two and a half hours. About 90% of that has just been hiking and 10% fishing. There is just nowhere to fish. Seems like the further up I go, the less fish I see. And spots that I should have gotten a bite in, I didn't get a bite, so I don't know. I think I'm gonna start heading back, fish a few more spots along the way, and figure something else out, because we've only caught two fish, and we need something we can cook for lunch. There we go, fish on. That's a keeper. There's another one by him too. Let's flip him up. Yes, there we go. Folks, oh my goodness. There was another one following this guy, so we might be able to get him too. Look at that, that is what we've been after. Perfect cooking size brown. I'm actually, my truck is just right over there, but I decided to try one more spot where I've seen fish before. And there we go, we pull out a nice brown trout. There we go. We have something to cook. I was thinking we were going to have to go somewhere completely different. Heck yeah. Alright guys, we're going to be doing some tailgate cooking today. Got all my stuff set up. Got our fish all clean and skinned right there. We have some Louisiana Cajun crispy fish fry that I had on some white bass the other day. And then we have here some golden crispy crowns, some tater tots basically. Saw these at the store and figured might as well fry them up in some oil. So we're gonna see how they are. This morning, they were frozen, I promise. Now, they're, uh, they're thawed out. All right, first thing we'll do, light up our stove. I love this stove. I love having two burners. So first thing we'll do, take a bag, take some of our fish fry. It is pretty spicy. I'm a lightweight, but I was actually kinda, I was feeling it, so. There we go. Then we'll take an egg. Ooh. Hey. 
I had some of that Cajun batter on my finger and I just breathed it in. Ooh. Anyway, we'll take our fish, drop it in. I just can't get over how green it is. Trees are green, green grass. Fishing could be better, but other than that, man, it's a beautiful afternoon. <laughs> oh gosh, I'll take our fish. Place it in our bag, mix it up. And then I'm gonna try something. I don't know if this is gonna make a difference, but I'm gonna take it out of the breading and I'm gonna put it back in the egg and do a second coating. I don't know if this is gonna make a difference, but might as well try it. And back in the breading. All right. We'll use half for the fish, half for the potatoes. Yeah, like I said, these were frozen this morning. Now they're looking a little soft. All right, they're actually not too bad. They're still kind of cold. All right, let's throw in a little tester. Uh, it's starting to bubble. Yeah, there it goes. <laughs> Whew, oh my gosh. Dude, this stuff is bad. Don't breathe this in. Holy cow. All right. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Now we'll take our fish, and this oil is plenty hot. Holy cow. Look at that. I definitely think double dipping helped it. Now it's got a thick coating. And these potatoes shouldn't take too long. They just need to crisp up, you know? They're not really cooking. All right, look at that. Already getting dark on that side and it's been in there for like just a few minutes. I'm gonna turn that heat down actually because that is cooking extremely fast. I mean, look at that. Oh yeah, definitely. I already turned the heat off. <laughs> Look at that. That cooked so fast. I'm actually very surprised at how fast that cooked. Because that oil was super hot when I set it in, so I hope it didn't just totally scorch it. I mean, that meat's coming right off the bone. Let's give it a try. Okay, so it's definitely not burnt. It just looks a little dark, but it tastes really good. Golden and crispy. There we go. What a delicious, unhealthy, but delicious meal. At least the fish is somewhat healthy. On that note, we'll go ahead and salt them up. Mmm, mmm. Let's try one of these guys. That's delicious. I love tater tots. These are basically the same thing. All right, let's grab a big bite of fish. That is good. I just wish it wasn't quite as hot because it is very hot. Yeah, when I set that fish in, like it just, that oil I think was way too hot. You kind of want it at the perfect temperature, not, not too hot because it can just absolutely scorch the outside and leave the middle raw. And if it's not hot enough, then it'll just soak up the oil and it's not as good. Oh no, but this is good. This is good. I think we got away with it. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I did making it. Sorry that the fishing content wasn't exactly great, but we did catch a few fish. But trust me, fishing is about to get a lot better and we're gonna start catching a lot more. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. I would really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the next one.